Hello there my good friends of YouTube. Well, we've got a nice induction heater just here, run by a ZVS driver, as you can see. Push through those two caps into the uh, ZVS driver, through those caps, um, into the inductor, into the ringed ferrite, which this would normally go on a ferrite core of a flyback, but it's on the round one and then tapped off from 14 turns into this cap bank and then into this induction heat, well into this coil of um, copper wire it's a very thick copper wire <clears throat> so our host today is that bit of steel just there it's um, a steel pointed uh, leg off the bottom of an old speaker that I've had lying around and now I'm going to see if I can get this thing to glow. I had it glowing that much earlier on. It was starting to burn the inside of this. It was very, very hot. So, <clears throat> I think the next thing to do is to, uh, is, to, is to get this one running and get some water through the piping to help keep it cool. So, I just wound that around a capacitor that I had to get some nice turns. The thing is to do with these is to make sure that these don't touch. Right, let's get this going. I'm going to get it on the uh, ZVS onto the uh, Variac and we'll see what we can get from it. <coughs> I'll get the... I've put this just here because I've got a fan up there and uh, try and keep it cool in here because it's quite warm today. Let's make sure that the amp meter's on. So we can see how much current we're drawing. Right, 30 volts, or well, about 28 volts. 3.9 amps. Let's wait and see. Let's put this here so it just makes it a little bit darker. So you can see inside of there. Certainly hear the frequencies. doesn't take too long to get this hot, I can tell you. I think I can already start to see it glow. Oh no, it might be just my imagination. Let's wait and see. It won't take long anyway. 3.9 amps, 4 amps. Yeah, it's getting hot, I can feel the heat. Well, that's getting warm. Some caps that I'm using. 28 amps and brown ones are. Grey ones. Why am I saying brown? Grey. You can see I've got uh, four there in parallel. And on that side I've got Two of the white ones just there at 1.5 UF at 1200 volts in parallel. Oh, it's taken a few minutes of the minute. It's put it up to 40. I had it earlier on. 7.9 now amps. There we go.
amps are going down now to 6.9 6.8, 6.7, 6.6, 6.5 6.7, 6.8, 6.9 and down to 6 amps 5.8, uh, yep 5.8 there <clears throat> That's not too bad actually, I can touch that. <clears throat> ZVS is cold. Seriously, it's freezing cold that is. Let's turn it up a bit more and see if we can get this thing to glow. Back up to 7.8 amps. I was chucking 60 volts for it earlier on, I was having that thing getting really, really hot, it was getting very bright. I think I may need um, some more capacitance, I think, to actually have it to go a lot more. It's certainly very, very cool. You can see it's getting very warm now because of the fluctuating of the, see that dark spot? on the uh, bit of metal burn in there just have to get over that threshold threshold from when uh, it's glowing to actually um, to, to melting that is very bright on off camera very bright you see that at the bottom of there? I'm going to have to turn it off now because it's getting too hot. That is really, really hot. Right, I'm going to have to turn it off, guys, because I don't want to fire in my garage. Jesus. If I drop that on my carpet, there's no putting it out. Bloody hell. See this? Oh Jesus, that is hot. That's why you need that, the piping, so you can put water through it to keep it cool. That is very hot. I was getting that close to that getting hot where it's going to burn the insulation off it. And I don't want that. So then guys, I hope you enjoyed that. It's pretty cool, eh? Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, look after yourself and be safe whatever you're doing. Please rate, comment, subscribe for more. Take care, I'll speak again. Where's the off button? Damn it.